It's an honor to be here today. My simple prize was inspired by a recent trip I took to China. I've been to China many times before, but this is only my second time to Beijing. It was just last month. Last time I was there was just before the Olympics, and boy, it had changed a lot in the last six years. I landed in, Hong, in, in Beijing, and I was in the gleaming terminal. Um, made me feel like coming into LAX or parts of JFK was like coming to a third world country. It was so beautiful, and even when I left the airport, beautiful buildings, everything was, was uh, gleaming except the air. Uh, as I was in the car, even through the filtration system of the vehicle, I was bombarded by a feeling in my throat that I didn't experience since growing up in Studio City, California on smog days on the elementary school playground. And it was unbelievable. I had to wear a mask inside the car just to stop from coughing. Looking outside, I was completely stunned at what I saw in the sky. And if some of you haven't been to Beijing recently, it really is mind boggling. I, I had my business meeting and I was able to wake up early one morning to sneak away to go about an hour and a half drive out of Beijing to the Great Wall. Got up very early, and there out my window, I saw school children walking to school with no protection. I saw these kids happily skipping with their backpacks along the street, breathing in the equivalent of 10 to 20 packs of cigarettes a day. And I was terrified to imagine what that's doing to their lives, their lungs, and their lifespan. Some people believe it might cut 10 to 20 years off of every child's life. I was completely stunned by this, and as I was driving, this is looking out the window of the car straight into the sun. I didn't even have to blink or, or um, squint because it was so dimmed by the smog, it was like looking at the moon at night. Um, it was amazing to me. Um, there were protesters wearing masks outside the Temple of Heaven. There were people everywhere just amazed at, at what was going on, people who came over with me on this trip. And I arrived at the Great Wall about an hour and a half later, and I was walking along, looking at these vistas, looking at the sweep of history from 220 BC to today, and I, I was almost in solitude because I had gotten there so early in the morning. But all I could think about were these kids, these kids that were growing up with a, uh, in a society that is advancing so quickly. I learned early in, in the day at the meeting I was at, that China was selling 7,000 cars per year 30 years ago, and today they're selling 23 million cars per year. An astonishing growth rate that is just unbelievable. And of course, everybody coming into their wealth wants to buy a car, wants to have the freedom of their own car. And this inspired me to think, what could we do to solve this broken market mechanism? Everybody there is experiencing this painful air, and yet no one is doing anything about it. That made me think of a possible XPRIZE to clean the air, to take the particles out of the air. It's way easier to take this particulate matter out of the air than to take the carbon out of the atmosphere. Maybe if it could be done for, say, 10 cents per day per citizen, that could be enough funding to spread something all around Beijing, but forget Beijing, every city in the world, to completely clean the air. If something like that were possible, that would be unbelievable. I just think of it so much because I was looking at those children walking unprotected out my window on the Great Wall of China. I hope this inspires some further thought. If anybody else is interested in pursuing this, I would love to talk to them further. I don't know how this could be done, but I do think it could be done, and that's why I think it's ideal for an X Prize. Thank you very much. Thank you.